we are walking to Balmoral Park and we've received the news from Jake Mitchell that there will be no game today. Uh, your thoughts as a man coming all the way from Geelong? Um, absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. I was excited for my Beerong TV debut to commentate on the boys and do my food review on these uh, Delmont uh, fucking fish and chips with gravy. And uh, then we've got the word from Coach Jake Mitchell that the club has double booked today because they're fucking retarded. So, got to say, very disappointed with their team management. I reckon there's going to have to be a uh, ch change in uh, presidency, I reckon. What do you what do you reckon? This could be one of the worst football teams I've ever had the pleasure of playing against. How do you realise you've double booked a team? All right, you realise you double booked on the day of the game. How do you not realise the entire week leading up to it until an hour before kickoff that the game's over? It's just it's just a farce here and we're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Imperial furniture is the club. what the where the fuck are we? to play this fucking game. We, it's a Brunswick club. Like, it was easy for us. I dare say James Cerruti's punching, punching holes in the ground right now. He's had to come from fucking Station Street, Brunswick. Oh, he'll be there. Oh, it's a fucking... It's a, it's a joke, really. It is a joke. Especially, I, I'm not sure what's more disappointing. Like, right now, it's like, after all this travel to get to here and realise this, or Collingwood losing to a hospital ward last night. Honestly, it's 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 been a tough weekend. You know, it has not been a good twelve hours for us. <laughs> it's not been a good twenty four hours. I cannot lie. Um, uh, however, Birong, Birong TV, we do kick on here. We will at least do a food review. Hopefully, there'll be some players at the ground we can interview. <laughs> we can get their disappointment. We might we might even take one of their club officials and interview them on how this was possible. We we do some investigative. It's, uh, it's going to be a very interesting episode of Brewrock TV today, is all I can say. <laughs> Give me the microphone. Right. We've, we've, we're walking here, we're almost at Balmoral Park, and we found two of the boys. We found big goalkeeper James Rudy and his accomplice That's Jasper fine. Sonak. And Berriman, both on the phone. Both <laughs> on the phone, hopefully not with each other. Hi. Hello. Jasper. How are we fe how are we feeling about the devastation right now? So basically, basically we got here. Yeah, well, I'll see you later. We got here. Um, everything was going smooth. Uh, then some old random guys like, what what are you boys doing here? And everyone's like, we're coming for the game. And then he's like, oh, no, there's no more games. Something along the lines of that. And um, long story short, the coach uh, rescheduled. Or didn't even reschedule. He just scheduled another game. He double booked. He double booked. Yeah. That's he realized double booked, and he realized on the day. Of the poor, game. poor management right there. Right. By Taj moment. <laughs> no, nah, it's. Ah, uh, well, moving on. <laughs> moving on. All right, mum. I have to go now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mum. Bye. See ya. All right. So now we've got would have been goalkeeper today, James okay. Rudy. Right back. right back today. All right. Uh, how are you feeling about um, the uh, devastating news? Fairly, fairly gutted, considering I spent fifty dollars on a fucking Uber to yeah, get here. Well, as you're saying that, I said James is going to be punching holes in the ground. <laughs> Literally fucking insane. I can't believe this. Yeah, we're we're feeling exactly the same. We've spent the Uber to get out here, twenty but twenty bucks, and then about twenty bucks on food as well for the food <laughs> review. Oh, so uh, pretty pretty devastating to hear that the uh, whatever club this team is being. Absolutely, bring bring back Brank being shocking, shocking at uh, organising games, and I I hope for the future Jake will never organise a game against this team again. Exactly, uh, I completely agree. You can go down and have a look. They're they're training there, so you can have a. Yeah, is is uh, anyone else anyone else from the club down there still? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Finn Higgins, like Archie like Edgar. Like ten right. yeah, we'll head down there and have a chat with them. And see what their thoughts are on all this uh, nonsense. I was going to do play to watch Archie Edgar today after he's sent me a message in the morning, really meaning that he's prepared.
to ground it. Looking like a very good day for it as well. Exactly. It's looking like a perfect day. All right. Um, we're rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. All right. All right. So in the absence of Jake Mitchell, Luca Marchetti was going to be stepping in today. Unfortunately, not anymore. How are you feeling about uh, the poor, poor management skills by whatever team this is? Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm gutted. I mean, I was, I was really excited. I thought there was a lot I could have brought to the team today. Wanted to try out a few things. Uh, but, you know, I, it's just, you got to think about it. This would never happen to the under 16s Blue Beerung team. Oh, no. so, <laughs> something like this, it would never have happened, you know? No. I didn't even watch any of their games, and I know this. Yeah. And, but to be fair, I mean, we would have been today without the, uh, you know, I don't see um, Futsal Golden Goal hero Sam Granger here. So That's a big, big yeah. loss, big loss. He's still on the bender right now. Yeah. Would it have even been worth it? He did, yes. Oh, can't imagine, can't imagine how Hannibal would have been feeling. But the thing I'm most disappointed about is uh, we were going to take a spot on the bench because Jake Mitchell has... Goodman, Goodman's lawn chair that you'd be sitting on, so we would have been able to sit on the bench, see see all the substitutions happen. You know, we would have had a very good view of the game. I must say, Tark, real get out of free, uh, get out of jail free card today. You can clearly see Robert not 100%, not match fit, lost his voice, big night last night, unprofessional. I'm telling you, most overrated player 2021. I'm calling it now, and I can't emphasise the importance Jack Perkins has in this squad. Really, really, really brings the team together, you know. Chemistry's there with him. And really, that's what your team's been lacking. reason why you guys lost to the under-18s last week. That's all I have to say. This was going to be my player to watch for today. He's messaged me this morning asking if I'm coming down, meaning he's prepared. Uh, but unfortunately, no game today. How do you feel? Look, it's devastating. We were all really looking forward to it. If it was pissing down, it would have been fine. Yeah, call it off. Thought you really didn't want to get out of bed this morning. But hey, we, we got down here, and it was looking beautiful. We were so G'd up. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. I've, I've refed here before, so I know. It's a beautiful little area. Lovely. Yeah, we might have had you refing. You know, I would not good. have ref. <laughs> yeah, it's devastating. <laughs> This is, this, is, this, is, this is the most exciting <laughs> interview that I'm most keen for. Max West, the rant. It's a fucking conspiracy. Jacob Mitchell knew this was going to fucking happen. That's why he called in sick. I'm not fucking, I'm not going to hide it. I don't know why you're all pretending it didn't happen. He fucking knew. He fucking knew. This is revenge for Thursday the other week. Yeah. I, see I, 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 I agree. I agree. I've asked him to add me to the Burong FC chat. I'm part of the Burong uh, TV commentary team, so I'm part of the actual team. And he's asked me to give him live updates for an ad to the chat. And I've gone, okay. And he goes, no need because there's no game. And I'm like, you fucker. I am livid. And another thing, I'm not doing fucking laps for coming late today. I am not doing laps for coming late today. I was to say you were late. I don't care. I don't care. The mic can't hear you. It's fine. Thank you, boss. Uh, it's not top, not top 10 years because I'm assuming there's more than 10 people in this team that's double booked today, so... Because there's no game to commentate. Yeah, no, no, da Daniel, no JP. This is his first experience commentating. He's got to commentate on nothing. Exactly. Very, very hard. Not, not an easy start. Not an easy start. I would also like to say I do have a 100% win rate playing for the under-21s. Big 3-0 win today by forfeit. And uh, last week, 4-0 against Craigie Moon. Clean sheet. Can't complain. And 100% win rate against... Play some sad music over it. Finn Higgins got his, got his motorbike helmet. Scooter helmet. Let's get, let's get some word from the skipper. It has been a while. I'm, I missed you at the uh, Futsal Grand Final. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, it's a shame that you don't have uh, your hero of that game today, even though there's no game. But, uh, you know, if Sam Granger rocked up, there probably would have been a game on today. Probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> he's, probably he's probably still on the bender right now, but why aren't you with him? <laughs> well, I thought there was a game, didn't I? <laughs> Fair enough. Commitment. Commitment. Yeah. Something that Sam Granger doesn't have. And oh! oh.
that Jake Mitchell is going to have to talk to him about. But speaking of commitment, where is Jake Mitchell today? Well, yeah, Jake, Jake Playing a bit of a prank on everyone. Probably didn't even book a game. He probably didn't. <laughs> he probably booked the game. He was sick. A bit suspicious. No, I, I rang him up when, when one, of them, one of them said, oh, yeah, the team's actually, they think they're playing an away game. I, ca I rang him up, spoke to him for about a minute. Wait, when was that? Before you even got here because you were late. Whoa. And he, the only... <laughs> he, um, he said two words in that one-minute conversation, which was, you're joking. <laughs> and then I said, yeah, you're joking. may as well give the, uh, the other manager a call and uh, get back to me. Anyway, got back to me. They'd booked another game. Pretty tragic. This is actually pretty bad. Tragedy. Considering our Tragedy or just poor management, actually. Well, well so, right. so, Vin, you've had a long history of uh, you know, being around soccer clubs. You've played for many years. Is this probably the worst run club in the history that you've ever seen? Belmore FC? Yeah. No, I'm going to keep my voice down, but, you know, it's not, it's not great form, is it? <laughs> it's not great form. No cancer, yes, I think. No cancer. No cancer, no over. I'm furious. I'm furious. I mean, we could have at least had a bite it's... Eight. It is. It's tough as a as a beer run club yeah. member to comment on other clubs being the worst run clubs. Yeah, yeah that is a that is a pretty good point. That is a, that is a pretty good point. I just think I just think for now, you know, this week it's over. We got to turn our sights to next week. Game Big one game one of the season, nine a.m. at home. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm not playing. The question for the, you're there. Oh, I'm gonna be sleeping. Question. Hey, I'm going. I'm getting up there from Geelong. All right. Really? Come on, man. Come on, boys. I'm going to be getting up at 7 a.m. for this game. 6 a.m. because I need to be there an hour early. Who's going to make it on time? I mean, that's the big question, you know? I'll be there on time. I think right. some people will have to sleep over at the sound. Make sure they're not there. Yeah, some people. Do you want one? Do you want one? Or do you want to get out of here? If you want to leave time, want to get out of here. Oh, you better, yeah, better. Sure, sure. Uh, signing off for Beer on TV. <laughs>